Today, Emily and her partner Matt have invited me to join them down on their farm, just outside Chewstoke, on the way to Chew Valley Lake. Piggies. Emily's introducing me to her lovely large Piggies. black piglets, which have the run of their organic orchard. But I haven't filmed pigs before, and soon realise I've made a rookie error. <laughs> oh no! I think I've locked it. They're very interested in my camera case. <laughs> Time we were properly introduced. They're 15 weeks old and we got them at 8 weeks, so we've had them for about 5 weeks. But these aren't your first pigs? No, we've had British Lops, which was our first pigs. We've had Tamworths and Gloucester Old Spots. Right. And Large Blacks one year before, so this is our fifth batch of right. piggies. Right. Yeah, so the large blacks are really nice, nice temperaments, very clever. Uh, would you say these are your favourite type of pig? Definitely, yeah, so large blacks and the British lops. Highly intelligent, they'll try and escape out of anything. Real escape artists, guesses in the house, we've had the pigs in the house plenty of times. <laughs> As you can see, they like playing with things, so they get bored really easily. Very greedy, so they do love their food, not, not afraid of anything. We probably keep them for about five to six months. What do you go through when you feel like Time for the bacon, guys. The first pigs that we had was terrible. I actually mourned properly because we named them. So our kids named one each. Um, and when they went, it was terrible. Really bad, really bad. In fact, I was at work and I called the guy who was taking them to the abattoir to change my mind and say I can't do it. And just as I picked up the phone, I got an email through saying carcass inspection satisfactory. So it was just a bit late. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would have, I would have saved them. But then what do you do? I mean, pigs apparently, apparently live, you know, tens of years, which is 25 or something. So what do you do with pigs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you keep a, you don't breed them. You don't keep no, a breeding sow. Not you, yet. Uh, okay. Is that a plan or? No, not a plan. It would be, it would be really good fun to do it. Yeah. But we've got our hands full. Probably enough, realistically. Yeah. At the yeah, yeah, yeah. They both have busy full time jobs. So these few animals are enough to handle right now. It's been a busy few days down on the farm as it's lambing time. Jenny is a Suffolk. You can tell by her completely black face. Her lambs are just a couple of days old. Emily and Matt didn't grow up here, so I wondered how was it that ended up in Chew Stoke? We were living in St Andrews in Bristol and just thought it would be lovely to spread our wings a bit and have a bit more space and do something like this. Drove past the house and just thought that place looks amazing. So that's kind of why we ended up here, but coincidentally my grandparents used to live you know, in the area, um, so it's kind of almost coming back to certainly their territory, so that's really nice. And you know, it's just fantastic dog walks, lovely space, green areas, so but obviously within a community, and you've got shops and pubs and things like that, so you know, it's nice. It's yeah, yeah. Further down the field are a pair of newborn lambs. Their mum is a Dorset Cross and she's so gentle with them. We're all being told we must eat less meat, but if you're partial to a piece of lamb or bacon, surely this is the way you'd like your animals to be kept. I'd like to thank Emily and Matt for being so welcoming and for a sample of their very tasty apple juice.